Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be discussing the next Untethered Jailbreak, which will likely be released for iOS 9.2 with backwards compatibility for iOS 9.1. All right, now if you guys want a chance to win a brand new fourth gen Apple TV, rate this video up and stick around to the end. My giveaway will actually conclude within the next week or so. Having said that, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. First of all though, if you guys have already watched some of my more recent jailbreak updates, then there will actually be an annotation in just a second that will allow you to skip ahead because I'm going to go over some information that I already have discussed previously. However, if you're new to the channel or you're new to these jailbreak updates, then just be sure to stick around because all of the information in today's video is definitely important. So what's happening recently in the world of jailbreaking? It kind of seems like things are stalled. Ever since Apple released iOS 9.2 beta 4.2 registered developers a couple of weeks ago, nothing really has happened. Apple was previously on a one week release cycle for new betas of iOS 9.2. Since then, they've stopped. So what can we expect from both Apple as well as the jailbreak community? Let's go ahead and get into this. First of all though, the latest iOS 9 through 9.0.2 untethered jailbreak, as I'm sure the majority of you guys are aware, was patched by Apple with the release of iOS 9.1, which as of recording this video is the current latest public firmware. And the entire situation as a whole is kind of interesting. See, Pangu issued the latest untethered jailbreak, and they did so for iOS 9.0.2, even though 9.1 was on the horizon, simply because 9.1 beta closed one of the key vulnerabilities the group utilized to exploit iOS 9 and in turn achieve an untethered jailbreak on the firmware for all devices. So put simply, the latest jailbreak would never have been able to function on iOS 9.1. With that understood, and with the fact that we haven't received a new jailbreak from either Pengu or Taiji, the two teams who are currently active on the jailbreak scene, it appears as though we're not going to get a new jailbreak for iOS 9.1. At least it won't be intended for the firmware. See, whichever group intends to release the next jailbreak will undoubtedly target iOS 9.2. That's becoming abundantly clear, and I've stated it a number of times, even when iOS 9.1 was initially released. They're undoubtedly going to go after the next firmware, being iOS 9.2. However, it will have backwards compatibility with iOS 9.1 for those of you who, for whatever reason, don't feel like updating to 9.2 once a new jailbreak is available. And the reason behind that's simple, they want as many people to be able to jailbreak as possible, and if they issued a jailbreak for 9.1 right now, it wouldn't be good. Because iOS 9.2 is just around the corner and chances are good if they were to issue one now, we wouldn't actually be able to jailbreak 9.2 with the same utility because the firmware would almost certainly patch said utility. And with each passing day, the jailbreaker's decision to target iOS 9.2 continues to come into focus. So now that we know they're not going to directly target iOS 9.1, but rather the firmware successor 9.2, when can we expect the firmware from Apple? See, that's pretty interesting. We're actually going to open up the calendar app here, and we're going to get into some past release dates, so we can kind of try to figure out what we can expect from Apple. So the last software release to come from the company was in November. It was actually right before Thanksgiving. They did, however, take the entire week of Thanksgiving off. So iOS 9.2 beta 4 was issued on November 18th, which was a Wednesday. However, when we look back at past iOS 9.2 beta releases, they have all fallen on Tuesdays. They've been released in rapid fire succession one after another with just seven days separating each iteration, and that started on October 27th with iOS 9.2 beta 1. So the last iOS 9.2 beta kind of broke the cycle, and since we didn't see one either last week, which of course was Thanksgiving, so that was kind of to be expected, or this week, which was definitely unusual, what is Apple planning? Well, when we look back even further, we notice that every iOS 9 public release has fallen on a Wednesday. So iOS 9.0 was released on Wednesday the 16th, 9.0.1, the 23rd, 9.0.2, the 30th, and remember that is all in September. And then in October, we actually received iOS 9.1 a few weeks later, which was on the 21st, and now we're waiting on iOS 9.2. So since we 
we haven't seen a new beta release of iOS 9.2, is it conceivable that Apple is planning its public release next week, possibly on Wednesday, December 9th? Yes, it definitely is. However, if the company has additional features they intend on testing in iOS 9.2, then it's also possible that we could get iOS 9.2 beta 5. Remember, iOS 9.1 did have five betas before its eventual public release. So either way, the chances are almost certain that we'll get a new version of iOS 9.2 next week, sometime between Tuesday and Wednesday. Whether it is the final build or the public version, that's still to be determined. I will keep you guys completely updated though, and just note that once iOS 9.2 is made available to the public, the team behind the next untethered jailbreak, whether it ends up being Taiji or Pangu again, will undoubtedly need additional time to test the latest build of the firmware and to kind of update what they've been working on thus far. And I may actually get into that more at a later point. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comments section. When do you guys want to see a new jailbreak released and when do you think it's most likely going to happen? Again, if the past is any indication, it could be within about two weeks of iOS 9.2's public release. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new jailbreak updates or of course jailbreak tutorials once new utilities are released, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. And for even more updates, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Now, for those of you who want to win a brand new fourth gen Apple TV, just visit freeappsfast.com inside of mobile Safari and sign up, which doesn't take long at all. Then just download any of the sponsored apps you see in the main section, just so long as you do earn points. Once you have earned some points, go to the third tab at the bottom and you see that referral link. Take what appears after the equals symbol and post it in the comment section of my unboxing for the device, the fourth gen Apple TV. I'll have it linked for you guys in the cards of this video right now, which are most easily accessible on the desktop version of YouTube. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.